Hey, welcome back to another episode of Memo's Garage AZ. Uh, today is a very exciting day for me because something finally came in that I've been talking about a lot in my last couple videos I've made. Uh, the Soho single exit exhaust. Um, I think I ordered that back in April and we're in July. So whatever reason it took uh, so long to, you know, to, uh, uh, they actually make, they only make these uh, as the orders come in. So it's not like they keep these in stock, but I'm assuming because of all the COVID-19 stuff that's been going on, you know, whatever reason, closures, you know, the, of the, the shop or whatever, um, but it's here. It doesn't matter. I, I waited this long and I'm really hoping that this works well with C-Works designs, resonated test pipes, um, which I'll get into a little bit more later, but this is how the exhaust comes, two different sizes, I'm assuming this is a straight pipe from the that connects from the mid pipe to the canister or the muffler, so let's open this up. This thing's huge. Look at the tip. Again, great quality welds. Nice and clean. I really hope fitment's good. But that's where we're going to find out. Decent size again. I mean, this thing. I can fit my fist in it. this thing and let's open this up it's just a packing slip so it comes with this which I'm not gonna use because I have a three inch metal one So 
So talk about simplicity, two bolts, uh, hook up to the mid pipe, no, the Y pipe, where it collects to a three inch. And then you have your clamp to clamp those two together. And what's really cool about these is that you can, uh, it gives you more adjustability to make it fit better. So we'll see, let's find out. So let me quickly talk about these uh, resonator test pipes. They're from Seaworks Design. And if you don't know about him, I'll put a link to his, uh, I think he's got a Facebook. I do believe he works for admin tuning. Like he made, he fabricates parts for, for Monse for admin tuning. And um, so I ordered these back in February, right before the whole COVID-19 thing started. So the these got delayed um, at the port. So in LA, I believe they went from, they came from China to LA. So uh, it took a while. I probably got these about a month or two ago. And um, so here's what they look like. You got your resonated pipe here, which is what's supposed to help restrict um, some of the exhaust flow. So I'm hoping combining these with that, with the Soho single exit exhaust will be a good combo now. Something you should know, these are about two and a quarter inch. So they're actually slightly smaller than the typical test pipe that you're used to, like my uh, Z1s that I have in the car now, I believe are two and a half. Um, even these Burks are two and a half because I measured them. And these are the ones that cracked and I, I don't know, I just held on them for some reason. But these are two and a quarter inch, which you obviously, if you're looking for more horsepower, you want them bigger. So where I think this might be beneficial to me since I have headers, um, these being stepped down from two and a half to two and a quarter inch in combination with the resonated uh, pipe in it, it might actually help reduce some of that, a little bit of that flow enough so that this thing doesn't sound like crap. So that's what I'm hoping for and that's what we're going to see. This thing, I can't find the, the hardware, like the bolts that it came with. It did, however, come with these rings. They're supposed to be gaskets for this, which I've never seen before. And I'm really hoping that these actually hold, hold on well, because, I don't know, like I said, I've never seen these before. I don't know how durable these things are. And with the flame map, I don't know how long these will actually last. But since these kind of go over this, which is where the, the flame comes out and the header goes in here, the flames might not actually ever make contact with this. So it might be okay. I don't know. I guess I'll find out over time. I don't think there's any any kind of uh, company markings on these, but you know they look the wells look really, really well, really good. And that part is the most important to me is that bracket where so that you can uh, mount this to the chassis um, bracket that sits underneath. Because if you don't, and that's the whole reason why those pipes broke, because that was an honor. And it also comes with this for, I'm hoping that this is enough so that it doesn't throw that one check engine light because of the, you know, once you remove the cats, you throw that code. I can't remember if it's catalyst efficiency code or something like that, but we'll see if these work well. So let's find out.
the last thing I wanted to talk about, if you've seen my, some of my other videos where I had this crazy Magnaflow uh, center mounted like underneath the driver exhaust system. Let me show you what happened with that and why I had to remove it. And I had to go back to the, the Monzo dual exhaust setup, which sucks by the way, stay away from it. This is the setup. It, it's funny because it kind of looks like a scorpion, which in Arizona we have a lot of. It wasn't done on purpose. So what happened with this one is it um because it sat so low and I think I smashed it a couple times as you can see on speed bumps. And I tried to have it repaired. But every time I did with um, with where this sat so close to the engine, with all the pressure build up when I would you know downshift to do the flames, the flame and the pops, I think it was too much pressure. This would pressurize too much, and it would just crack the the welds that were on here already. So I just kind of gave up on it. Took it back out. It's pretty heavy, so I'm hoping that the new setup it's a little lighter than this. But that's that. It was a cool experiment. It did sound good, but it just you know for the long run it just wasn't gonna be. It wasn't gonna last. But anyways, let's get started with the install. So here's where I'm at. Um, I didn't film the disassembly part because. You know, there's plenty of videos on that on, on YouTube. So, here's a C1 test pipes. Um, this one, unfortunately, one day I was in the freeway and one of those plastic bags caught on there and it just, they got stuck on there. I actually smelled for a while. But, so I found out a couple interesting things. Um, lately, I've been throwing some codes that say something like, um, oxygen sensor, low response, low voltage or something like that and I'll, I'll put that I'll put that in the in the video here or here um, and to my understanding is on its uh, bank 1 and bank 2 sensor 2 not the not sensor 1 which is the, the upstream it's the downstream so my understanding is that happens when you have a leak between this sensor the the uh, sensor 2 and sensor 1 um, on the driver's side I think this is the driver's side basically what was happening here was um, it was leaking through here so that's one reason and on the other side I believe this one was pretty good but it possibly could have been leaking through here. The bolts that I was using, I was never comfortable with. Um, I've had, actually, I've had them fall out, com like completely, while I was driving. And I've replaced them, but they they're still weren't, still weren't very secure, so that's the reason why um, these never seal properly. So that's one reason. Second reason, if you look at, this one was the passenger side and I don't know if you can tell from the camera right here it's already showing uh, uh, cracks from uh, you know stress cracks I don't know if you can see it better here in this light right there and unfortunately when they welded this the welds overmade it inside the tube so if this is cracking that means it's cracking inside and that's another reason why um, these are leaking and if you look at where this uh, with this other or tube bong is um, this is for if you want to put a uh, air and fuel ratio gauge I could already see some cracks starting to develop on that too so, I know I praised these before, 
when I first got them, they looked really good. But now, now that I put these uh, C1 test bikes through, you know, through like some harsh mouths, especially out here in Arizona with flame, with the flame map, um, these definitely failed. So, unfortunately, you know, it happens. We have, um, you know, cars with, and I don't know why this car just like, like destroys a lot of um, aftermarket uh, ex exhaust parts. Like I said, my exhaust system, the the Magnaflow custom exhaust, you know, it kept breaking that thing and then um, it broke these, these burp broke right there. You can see the crack. Um, I think this one was more because it had no bracket for support. But this one obviously did, but even then it still fell. So, you know, praise them before, but now I put them to the test. You make your own decision on whether you want to buy these or not. I'll probably send these and I'll let them know. And, you know, I'll see what their responses are. We'll see if they even care. But anyways, hopefully these will hold off a lot better. But that remains to be seen. I gotta put these through the through you know put a good amount of miles on them. So we'll see how they hold up. Um, these gaskets, I think they're pretty good. But the only reason why these leak was because of the bolts that I was using here. Um, I'm using good. I'm gonna. Uh, I was using these like cheap bolts that came with. Um, I can't remember which. If they came with the headers or they came with the they might have come with the burps these bolts cheap ass bolts so i'm gonna use these here hopefully they hopefully these are long enough but these look much better they have lock nuts on them so uh, hopefully i won't have any more issues with the mid pipe with uh this is the megan racing Y pipe that i bought used and actually uh, mates up with this pretty nicely i decided to go with two gaskets here so you know to make a really nice tight seal and these are metal so it looks good fits good and i'm gonna do the same thing with the, the two gaskets right here. I'm gonna, um, these two gaskets, I'm gonna double them up just to make sure that I have a really tight seal. I bought a bunch of these. You can buy these from Z1 uh, Motorsports. So I'm just gonna double them up like this way, back to back. And hopefully this will help me uh, alleviate any exhaust leaks in the future so time to put these in so this is what it sounds like without the muffler go for it A few moments later. Alright, so there it is. It's in. Um, I tried to play around with it to get it to fit better. It's kind of hitting the bumper right there. Um, I could always just cut a piece, a little corner there. I think I got everything else to line up. There's space between that um, the suspension uh, rear arm so there's good clearance there I got clearance on, at the sway bar and everything else is tight I'm getting ready to start it up
so I think I got everything timed down. I'm still a little iffy on those little O-ring gaskets on the test pipe, but we'll see over time. Alright, let's see what this sounds like. Go for it. for a drive. no rasp there's a little right there catch up to them they look like an old uh, box body Next 
morning.
Connell to down to one, it's more um, it's more localized, more channeled.